Um, just before uh, Thanksgiving, I came on the show and you know, did a bit of a mea culpa, uh, admitting that I had been too cautious since late June or early July. And uh, you know, I, I came to realize that um, sentiment and flows were likely to carry equities uh, higher into the end of the year and likely into the new year. Uh, on the 6th, just a, a couple of days ago, um, given what I'm seeing, especially in small caps, uh, and you mentioned the Russell a moment ago, um, relative to both valuation as well as technicals, um, I really felt it was time to sort of say that that, set, that six weeks of bullishness uh, had uh, run its course for me. Um, the, to me, right now, I think you know, investors are looking to buy disruption, uh, you know, the likes of Moderna or the next Tesla, and really not paying any attention to valuation whatsoever. And, and to me, that's really, and, I'm, and I loathe to use the term, but that really is the definition of what makes for a bubble. Except for the best performing in sector of the week, Peter, is energy, up 9%, materials, financials, and yeah. consumer discretionary right behind it. So you have these pockets where, where what you're talking about with Tesla and Bitcoin, I get, but, but also value stocks are catching a serious bid. Yeah, I, I agree with you. And I think that's a function of sentiment. I think people are uh, gaining quite a bit of confidence, uh, especially around uh, the stimulus package uh, being increased. Uh, we just got a $900 billion package, and there's talk of now of trillions more. And look, that money is uh, going directly into uh, checking accounts, uh, which uh, means that liquidity is, is, is abounding. Uh, and that money is going into the stock market, and that's been shown in the flow data as well as many surveys. And I think that's emboldening investors. And you know, if you look at transports or if you look at regional banks, the prospects for uh, transports to have better performance than pre-pandemic, in my view, is quite slim from an earnings standpoint. And that's precisely what's being baked into stock prices now, a, a rebound well uh, in advance uh, and above what the performance was prior to the pandemic. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.